Hello, Mr. Price here, and this is your video on the Year 8 homework on Unit 1, all about factors of multiples. Now, the first section was asking you for number facts about these various numbers across. Now, you may have given an answer, which I don't have, um, because there could be many versions, but just really think carefully that you've got it the right way around, because it can be very easy to make a, um, a confused mistake on here. Okay, let's have a look at number 1. Uh, which is looking at the number 2. So here we're looking for a number fact about 2. Now you might have said it's a prime number, which is absolutely true, it is a prime number. You could have also said that uh, 1 is a factor of 2, or you might have said uh, 4 is a multiple of 2. Now you could have also had um, 6, 8, 10, 12 etc as a multiple of 2, they're all okay. But for factors you could have only really had 1 is a factor of 2 or 2 is a factor of 2 as it's a prime number, it only has 2 factors. Okay, number 3, you could have said it was a prime number, that's absolutely fine. You could have said that um, 1 or 3 is a factor of 3, and then for its multiples you could have said uh, 3, 6, 9, uh, 12, etc. are multiples of 3. So 3 is a multiple of 3, 6 is a multiple of 3, 9 is a multiple of 3, etc. Okay, number 7, you could have said it was a prime number, and then you could have said uh, 1 or 7 is a factor, so is factor of 7, and then for its multiples you could have said 7, uh, 14, 21, etc. Those are all multiples of 7. Okay, for 1, this is a bit of an unusual one, it's not prime. So if you said it was a prime number, that is not correct. It is not a prime number. Now, for this one, you could have said 1 is a factor of 1, and if it's multiples, you could have written any whole number at all. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, they are all numbers in the 1 times table. Okay, but it only has one factor, which is 1. Okay, for 12, you could have said 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 6, uh, let's see, what else have we got? And 12 are factors. So any of those are factors of 12. And if it's multiples, you could have said 12. 24, etc. are multiples. Okay, it's not that many facts for that one. Okay, now zero could have been an interesting one. Okay, now um, for this one, no numbers really go into it, and it doesn't have a times table. So uh, this one, I'd be interested to hear what your fact, um, your number facts are for this one. But there's nothing I'm going to put on the video for this. Okay, so um, I'll be interested to see what you put in your book for that. Okay, let's move on to section two. So we're being asked to find all of the factors using a full method. We're going to use our um, factor pairs to help us. So for 12, I'm going to write a 12 in here and do a little T here. I always start with 1, and 1 times 12 gives me 12, so these are factors. And I'm going to move on to 2. 2 times something gives me 12, that is 6. I'm going to move on to 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So now I found all of them for my so my number uh, my factors of twelve are one, two, three, four, six, and seven. Okay, let's look at thirty-six. Okay, so start with one and thirty-six. Two goes into thirty-six, and that goes in uh, eighteen times. Okay, 3 goes into 36, that goes in uh, 12 times. Okay, 4 goes into 36, uh, 9 times. Uh, 5 doesn't go into 36, uh, 6 goes into 36, 6 times. Okay, so my number, my facts for, uh, my factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 
12, 18, and 36. And notice how this has an odd number of factors here. Okay, and that's because it's a square number. Okay, let's look at the factors of 60. So, I have 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20. I'm running out of space a little bit here. I may need to get a fresh piece of paper for this one. So, excuse me for that. So let's just restart that one again because I'm running out of space. Okay. Uh, 4 and 15. 5 and 12. 6 and 10. Uh, 7 doesn't go into it. 8 doesn't go into it and 9 doesn't go into it, so I found all of them. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. Okay, now for question 4, 315, I'm going to show you a slightly different method you can do to help you find your factors. Now, uh, we're still going to do 1 and 315. Now, uh, 2 doesn't go into this, as it's an odd number. And because 2 doesn't go into it, I can now ignore every multiple of 2. So I can now ignore 2, I can ignore 4, I can ignore 6, I can ignore 8, I can ignore all the numbers that are multiples of 2. Okay, and for this particularly advanced one, I'm going to cross out the 2 here. Okay, now I'm going to think, does 3 go into this? Now, a useful way of knowing if a number is divisible by 3 is by adding the numbers, uh, the digits, 3, 1, and 5. Okay, 5 and 1 is 6, 6 and 3 is 9. 9 is divisible by, by 3, so that means 3 goes into this number. Okay, this is non-calculator stuff so we're going to just quickly do a bus stop to help me threes into three goes once threes into one doesn't go carry the one threes into 15 goes five times that goes 105 okay i can ignore four because two isn't a factor uh five will go into my number as it ends in five or zero so again i can do a quick bus stop method here to help me fives into three don't go carry the three fives into 30 uh, goes 6 times, remainder 1, 5 into 15, goes 3 times, so that's 63. Okay, uh, I can ignore 6 because 2 isn't a factor. Uh, now, for 7, I'm just going to have to do a quick bus stop to check uh, if 7 goes into this number. Okay, there's no easy way of doing the 7s. So 7s into 3 don't go, carry the 3. 7 into 31, if you need to, you can write down your 7 times table to help you. Okay, so that's going to be 4, remainder uh, 3, T8, uh, and then 7 goes into 35, 5 times. So yes, 7 does go into it, 45 times. Okay, I don't have to check 8, because 2 isn't a factor. Uh, 9 I need to check because I've got my 3 still so a way to check for the 9 times table is add the digits if the digits divide by 9 then that is also a factor of 9 so 3 and 1 plus 5 is exactly 9 so 9 is a factor okay once again do a quick bus stop division 3's into 3 goes once 3's uh, into 1 doesn't go 3's into 15 go 5 times uh, sorry, I'm meant to be doing 9, aren't I? Sorry about that. Okay, 9's into 3 don't go. Okay, the 3. 9's into 31. If you need to, you can write down a very quick 9 times table. 9's into 31 goes 3 times. And we're 27 to 29, 30, 31. We're 4 away. And then 9's into 45 go 5 times. So that's now 35. Okay, Can't, don't have to check 10 because 2 isn't a factor, 
I do need to check 11. So, um, here, let's just quickly do 11 into 315. Okay, 11 into 3 don't go. Just going to quickly write down my 11 times table to help me. 11 into 31 go 2 times. And we are uh, 11, 10, 9 away. And 11 don't go into 95, so 11 isn't a factor. Okay, we don't have to check 12 because we don't have a 2. Uh, we will have to check 13. So for the sake of doing this video quicker, I'm going to quickly um, just do this on my calculator, but obviously um, you would have to just do a full method. 13 doesn't go into it. I don't need to check 14 because that's a multiple of 2. I do have to check 15. So check the 15, do 315 divided by 15, and it does. 15 goes into it 21 times. You don't have to check 16, but you do need to check 17, which won't go. You don't have to check 18. You will have to check 19, but now we can see that actually we've got quite close now and that's going to be all of them. So to finish off, my factors are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 15, 21, 35, 45, 63, 105 and 315. And that is all of them. Okay. Now, finally, if you've had a go at the extension, I'm not going to give you the answer on the video. However, um, as an extra clue, I recommend you look at the factors of 3, 6, 9, sorry. Check the factors of um, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Okay, so do the factors of those. Have a look when you've got your halfway factor and what's special about those halfway factors. And also think while giving you these special numbers and that might give you an extra hint. Okay, thank you very much. And don't forget to come and see me if you need any further help.